and gentlemen, today we have a very elegant evening and we believe all the organization, especially on behalf of Pakistani American communities, there is a, someone who really have ability to work and Pakuli is one of them. Pakuli New York founded in 2007 by the group of visionary Pakistani American and the, the making, making of the organization, the personal achievement to bring the Pakistani American community with other multi-ethnic communities and we can prove that being a Pakistani, being an American Pakistani, we are still alive and we can move forward and today we have a wonderful event by Pakoli, Pakistani American community of Long Island and later on we will see there is so many political faces we have seen already they are keep coming and let's see what's going on. Keep watching Sabran TV. I'm your host Salim Ahmed Bali.
community because of the value that they present, not just to the Queens and Queens of Long Island, but to the city at large. What contributions that have already been made have greatly enhanced our New York City community. And we've done a lot of work around that. Uh, and certainly we want to continue to uh, work together uh, collaboratively uh, and, and just reaffirm what we already have. I am here to really say that as a member of the city council, in fact, as the only Muslim member of the city council, that I want to reaffirm what we as a council have done to ensure that you have been embraced into the body of the city, but to all those who continue to come in from Pakistan, uh, from our immigrant population, that this will continue to be a sanctuary city, that we value you, that we protect you, that um, all that all of our family members um, that continue to follow you here because of the great work that has been done, that this is a home, that there is a home and there is a space for it. And if not for those who have come, uh, who we are here to honor today, before this, and, and, and the values that they have espoused and contributed to our city and our community, then, uh, you know, it would be difficult. And it's easy to come here and say that we continue to stand with the past um, that we will continue to work in similar ways to say that we value um, what you have brought, the contributions that you have made to our city. And that's what makes our city great. Um, our city is a great mosaic uh, because of uh, the many individuals that come from so many places. But the Pakistan community has come and really demonstrated that we belong here, that we have value, and that uh, our doors are open and that we support um, all of us that want to continue to come back uh, from abroad uh, and, and have the quality of life that we all enjoy. And we would not enjoy that quality of life if we didn't have the collaboration that we had. As I look over at my brothers and fathers, um, what he is giving to my community, what he is doing in the, in, in the area of health care, and providing the real quality, help provide the quality of life to some of these things. You know, I, I just want to come and say that I appreciate him, I appreciate the community for allowing him to be here to serve my community. And there are many folks in this room that I work with, whether it's not a single police officer, alongside of the New York City, and others that are here that I work with on a regular basis. I so many services and the dignity that we all enjoy. So it's, it's really important that we all come out and support each other uh, um, in, in many occasions. But this is my time to be here to honor the Pakistan community and say that we honor what you do. And that my community, that American community, Muslim community, members of the city council, continuously honor you and that you have a place here in our city to provide you. This will continue to be essential. That it is that we, uh, despite of the incendiary rhetoric that has been occurring throughout the country, we have a home here in New York City. I'm proud to be elected that has stood uh, up for those values. And uh, the folks are coming in on you. This is a great matter for the social justice that has continued. And that uh, uh, we have to really continue to get to know each other as we and um, I think that in my job, to embrace and bring the community together. We've done a phenomenal job of that. Thus, we have the work that has been done in South East Queens to make us happy. It's evident that I'm looking forward to continue a partnership and uh, it really growing together because our experience is in the church so we go together in this article. We have a founder of this great organization called Patoli, established on the service. So what do you think this is the right way, this is the right choice? We have we have to move forward for this cycle with these kind of this kind of Yes, we are very grateful to this point of view from the person and the person. We appreciate your presence here to highly oblige the CEO among us and we will give our support and friendship towards the community, towards the council.
towards the city and uh, we will be able to you know, work on a government of the state of America to work in the city and we appreciate the presence here and we will highly advise what to pay about money. This is this is a celebratory event. We can we stand together to work with our families and to have you know the effects of what we go through in uh, in the past few months to be stood together. And he is, he is a candidate for the coming election, Michael Faruqar. Let me ask him what is his aims and objective and what he want to try to deliver for as a New Yorker. Welcome to my show, sir. Thank you very so much. What kind of message do you have to give to all my special candidates community and what they, why they support you? Thank you. I am immigration problem, they have some social problem, so what do you do and what kind of distraction do you have in your mind? First of all, we have to understand that the message that we have received from Washington have been, they haven't been mixed, but there are others who have tried to prevent those messages. The issue of sanctuary cities, so to speak, are, it is an issue that the city is sending that says we're going to defy the federal government. I will not continue that message. However, no one, no federal statute, no, 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 no federal letters or memos that is saying that we are going to simply round up everybody who has a document. I work very, very hard to ensure that we have a vigorous, streamlined immigration process and that that process of immigration includes everyone. Now, people have 